Yo, what's going on, guys? It's through this amp here, and today we're gonna be doing some Clash Royale. I just got my new screen recorder that freaking been wanting forever, so let's freaking play. But we have this classic challenge right here that we could do. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. I just need, all right? Yeah, let's get right into it. So I've been using the new deck that uh, Nick and I that Nick and I uses, and I pushed the legend legend arena with it. It's really good, but I spent some money on the game. But um, anyways, after this, I want to show you guys a replay of a match that was really close. But I've spent some money on this game, and I've been dropping out of arena nine and picking it back up and going back in it. Oh, giant, get in front, okay. So we are chilling. He's not even going to touch my tower. Oh, damn it. All right, so he has a minion horde right there. Um, I think we're going to win this damage battle. Oh, yeah. That was a terrible play by me, though. I should have at least defended left side with a tombstone or something. All right, but anyways, let's get in here. This kid. Target that. There we go. Nice musket. That was a perfect musketeer. I right, was gonna let that push go. We're not gonna push too hard. And that's a tower. And that's a mega minion dead. And we're gonna drop a bullet right here. So I'm just gonna accept defeat in this left tower. Because it's gone no matter what. So now I know the only thing he can defend my right, my left tower, I mean, this push, is with that minion horde right there. See if he drops anything else. Nope. Damn it. Alright, so he has that goblin barrel. He got a couple damage, a little bit of damage off. Wow, that was a dumb play. Oh, here we go. Log going down. Dang it, my musket died. Getting ready to lightning. Oh no. He's gonna come back with the minion horde. Damn it. So that's gonna be a tower right there. Yup, that's a nice tower. Let's go, boys. This kid has no clue what's happening. We're gonna defend that with the bowler. Place hat down. Place that down. Yep, this push. We're just building up a big old push right here. Wow, I should not have even arrowed that, but it's alright. We're about to get double bowler down. He's gonna place that down. Wow, guys, if we had more time, we would have three, three crowned this kid. Look how much troops I have. Just, just destruction. This deck is so good. I love it. It's my favorite deck ever. Dropping with the well played and a good luck. So I I played one match before this video and I lost, but um let's show let's show a video. Um I think this one was a close one. This deck is an unstoppable but it's there is I wanna show you one where I lost because I got stopped, but it's alright. Everyone has to lose. Oh yeah, this was a good match. I remember this one. He places his princess miner down. Right now I'm just building up elixir. Place that down. Gonna log that. Saves tons of damage off my tower right there from that log. Not letting any of the, not letting any of the, um, fire spirits hitting my tower. But, um, I won the damage right there, but he still has my tower down on both sides. So, we're all, but we're, we're all good right now. He's going to do his little minor princess push right here. You know, watch this. Yep. Every time he does it. And I don't, I don't want that princess to keep on taking that damage, so. It's gonna drop that mega minion right there. And now we're picking up a good push. 
that's why I love the bowler. It just it destroys hog pushes. It because people usually use like ice spear or fire spear with their hog pushes. So if you have a bowler in your deck, it's just destruction. Well, you gotta lure them over. And that was a good play because I hit the bomb tower too. So that was well played by me. But he still has this tower down pretty low and that tower down pretty low. This kid this kid was annoying me, so you know how those matches are. People are annoying you just like that. Bowler is so good to defend hog pushes because people are always drop freaking ice spirits or fire spirits behind it or like little low level troops like the princess or the see that was a, like the princess or the um I can't speak right now like princess or goblins or bomber or just like any low level HP troop and that that's a tower right there he let that was a mistake by him by letting me take that tower he should have just made me waste, use as much Dark Elixir as I had to, to take out his tower. This was a good play. Lightning, it stuns. And so look at, my bull has super low HP, but then the giants are tanking because it switches over to the higher level troop. So he takes my tower, but I have his tower super low. Like, super low. So, we're all good right now. He has his Princess Minor little push. That was, and then, that was a bad play by him. Super bad play by him. He put his minion horde and his princess right next to each other. Easy arrow. That was worth perfect. Just a perfect arrow. It's going to take out his, his minions and his princess it's just destruction right there so that right there i won that battle but anyways let's play let's open up this silver chest and play another match all right we don't want any of that stuff so let's get into another match um why can i not hear these huh i don't know why i can't hear but it's all right so we're going to start off with our normally giant push. He has that. Hopefully our bowler will follow our giant. Yep, that was perfect right there. All day. And, oh, man. That's going to be clumped up together. Or right, we're going to use our lightning spell. To... That's a good lightning right there. It's going to take it all out. And our bowler is going to stay get stationary. Oh, that's a good HP right there on his tower. And we're going to kill his princess and get some tower health, even though it did, like, nothing. We're going to pull that across the side of the arena. <gasps> no! rip -a -roni. Three hits off. Are you kidding me? rip -roni right there. That really sucked. Huh, <sighs> alright, so we're gonna drop our bowler in the back because it's gonna kill everything with one little thingy. Alright, now we got our push going. This push, we're gonna take his tower. This push, we will take his tower. I want it to be wasted. Yes, there we go. We're gonna drop that right there. We're gonna place a musket at the corner of the arena to take out that. Oh, here. Get ready for his, yep, giant skeleton army. And that's a tower right there. Let's go, boys. That's a nice tower. Just destroyed. Never mind. He's not going to take out my tower right there. We're going to defend it. Oh, my God. All right, so we have his tower lower. But um, we're going to keep his tower there. So then his um, king tower. No, 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 mega minion. All right. Oh, he's going to do his little... Um, Push right here with his Sparky. So let's get ready. I'm just gonna lightning that. Down, 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 down. 
All right, so we're all, we're good, we're good right now. Place some musket right there. That should be targeting that. All right, we are chilling. Nope, we are in trouble, guys. We are in some trouble. But oh no. No, stop the Sparky. Whew. No, super close, guys. Yes. Bowler's gonna get distracted. No way. Come on, Bowler. Uh oh, I think that's game right there. Come on, boys. We're gonna throw down our arrows. No. What is our bowler doing? We have to drag to the side of the arena. We're gonna place on our log. That's gonna shred all of that. No. Oh, and that's GG, we just lost. That was a terrible play by me. Man, that was a really bad play by me. That was bad placements, that match. See what we have in our shop. Nothing good. Um, just a couple days ago, um, I bought a legendary chest, and I got a minor card out of it. So now we have level two minor, level two princess, level one number jack, level one level hound, and that's all of our. Nope. And we got level one log. We have uh, I really uh, I really want this graveyard spell. Really what bad? I've been my brother, my two brothers, they have it, and it's super good. They've been just destroying and destroying. They're both in Arena 9 as well. They're like at 3,500 trophies. So, yeah. But I've just been dropping out of the arena and coming back into 9 so I could do the... So I could get the legendary chest because I had 1,000 gems, so I bought two legendary chests. And that's how I got my princess out of it. I got a princess and then I had it in the shop, so I... Just bought it for because I had the Arena Nine. Um, the I bought the Arena Nine. Crap, can't speak right now. Um, always gonna drop a giant skeleton on me. We're not even gonna have to do anything there. Our muskets not even gonna get touched. Lots of good arrows. Oh nope, I think I missed the princess. Oh, I barely clipped hooked her. This kid is just wasting elixir. Come on, get on my giant, get in front. No! Are you kidding me? There goes his infernal dragon. That's just gonna melt. Hopefully our musket, oh yeah. It's all right, we have great damage on this tower down right now. Oh, here our musket can take that out. Perfect. So, we are doing good right now. We have his tower really low. He hasn't touched our tower once. So we just got to keep this going. And I want to thank um, uh, the Shoe Air app for, because this is how I got my screen recorder. And I also want to thank um, a pair of balls. You know him in my streams and stuff. Yeah, he's the one that told me about this app. I was like, oh, sweet, I can finally get a screen recorder. And just everything's been going well so far. That was a terrible arrow by me. Awful arrow. Place that down. I have to place this down. It's not going good. That will target those. All right. This is such awful place and placements by me. He's gonna take my tower out. That was a terrible placement by me. Everything. Everything went wrong right there. Oh yes, my tower's at five. Everything went wrong right there. Oh God, Bowler. Okay, so we, we have to cycle through our lightning. We have to cycle through our lightning. We're gonna have to start cycling. And that's GG, we lost guys. Yep, right there. Man, another loss. Ripperoni, no. Right, so um, we lost that. I was, I've been pl I usually play way better, but um, today I haven't played in a while, and you know, like under pressure, cause it's like 
my first time doing these screen recordings. But anyways, I have two attacks trained up on Clash of Clans. So let's go to Clash of Clans real quick. And let's do those attacks and show you our last war. And I want to show you guys this new meta sh attack strategy. It's so good on Clash of Clans. But anyways, let's get show you some Clash. So this is our village, guys. Um, We're pretty well uh, Town Hall 8. We are, we have our max, uh, excuse me, we have our max cannons, max archer towers, max mortars, and max wizard towers. We still need to max out on our walls, and our air defenses, and our hidden telsas. Those are going to be a pain in the butt. Hidden telsas are always a pain in the butt. But anyways, say these guys. these guys too hold on hold on so much emojis can I not find it which one am I looking for I had to have passed it oh my gosh I was just put that one down okay anyways let's we're all good right now um a ministerial radius clam this clan is an awesome clan. Always, always donating. Always, always active. This clan is so awesome. We, we had a clutch war. Um, I'm taking this war out because I need to get. I'm on the dark elixir push because I just upgraded my I upgraded my Valkyries and now I just sent my golems. But we still got quite a bit to upgrade. So let's upgrade our healers, our Pekka. And our balloon, but we're gonna do that stuff last. Um, the next upgrade that we're going to be doing is our rage spell. We're gonna max him out. But anyways, I've just been upgrading my walls so far. Just upgrading these walls. It's gonna take a long time. Might as well start right now. But I also oh I also have to upgrade the bomb tower. But um I got this bomb tower. The bomb tower is really awesome. I love it. And this. This base is actually really good. There, there will never, there's no one ever three stars me on this base as you see, but I still lose. I had a three star once, but um, this is a really good anti dragon base. It, you'll never, I never get three starred, so this is why I love this base because I hate getting three starred. I know you guys probably do too, but this kid barely won, so um. I, this is the strategy that I use for dragons, what this kid's doing right now. Um, just placing down hog riders to take it out. But obviously with max, with level 3 Valkyries, as you can see, because they have golden, yep, those are level 3 Valkyries, just shreds the king. Um, so his hogs are not getting anywhere near this. That's why I love having Valkyries in the CC clan castle. So, he's going to have to drop down some dragons to take that out. And the dragons, he's placing down way too much dragons to take that out. His funnel is going to be so bad. But, um, yeah. It's, I don't know what this guy's doing. His funnels are really bad for dragons. I would start drop. So that air defense is going to be taken out. Um, we have these air defenses. He's going to drop the lightning spells. Um, take it out the earthquake. Maybe. Yeah, and then he's going to probably drop his hogs down right over here. Yep, they're going to... Hogs. No one imagine a heal spell. Yep, he's gonna drop his heal spell down right there. Um, that's gonna destroy that air defense. So he has all the air defenses down. But I, I have no clue what happened to his ring. Just got destroyed from his, from his, um, bad uh, funnel. Everything just got, just went around the whole base. See, so you have two dragons around the whole base. Really bad funnel. Funnel. Bad funnels are what make you lose, especially with dragons. To be good at attacking in this game, you need to have patience and just let the game, let it funnel around the side that you're attacking, and then just drive into the center of their base, of the base that you're attacking. But we're going to speed this raid up because my hidden cells and archer tower are just going to shred that dragon. So that's going to be the end of his raid. He only got 58%. 
but he's still worth with quite a little bit of loot. And I got this scary pumpkin, pretty cool. But um, I want to show you guys this war, this war log right here. Oh my gosh, we lost. Oh man, I thought we won. I think this is the closest war I've ever had. And we've lost our last three wars. That's part of one of the reasons why I'm out of war. Because our top attackers are attacking really poorly. So it's kind of upsetting. But anyways, I want to show you guys my two attacks. I was the ninth person in our war. I got three starred by their number eight. But I want to show you their... This is um their number nine. And I want to show you this base. So I'm using the Golem Valkyrie strategy. I'm going to throw in my Hog Rider to lure out that Max Dragon. And drop down the Archer to lure it out there. And we're going to start our raid. So that Archer's going to lure them all out. And I'm just... Which this is... To do war, you got to lure out the CC. What I use, I use my King to tank the CC. Because it's so much easier and it helps a lot more. So the king's going to tank that CC. And he's going to do kind a uh, little bit of damage. And that left funnel, that left side of this attack is all go already going to be funneled. And so I destroyed the right side up here. So my Valkyries wouldn't go to the right. So I'm here my Valkyries are going to place one. Then you place them all. Uh, and this is where this whole center of the base just gets shred. Go ahead and drop down a rage spell. And it's going to shred this whole base. Valkyries do so much damage. I had a really bad heal spell placement this, this raid. I shouldn't have even placed that second heal. I placed that way too early. With Valkyries, you want to wait to place the heal spells. Because they're really tanky and buff. But at the same time, they can still get melted if you're not paying attention and watching them. So if you see a double giant bomb, get ready. Just drop down that heal spell in, 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 instantly. Otherwise, your Valkyries are going to get shredded by a, a wizard tower in three hits. And then, so, that golem was clutch right there, tanking for those wizards. And then those wizards, what is this left wizard doing? Why? Let your brother die. Shame of you. But I have, like, all my Valkyries still alive. So, anyways, this is going to be a nice three-star. Look at this Pekka. Lone wolf right here, man. CC. All the way. But those Valkyries are going to go ahead and shred through those walls. And, the, and then that mini Pekka's targets that cannon. Wow, it's smart. Instead of just going to there. Targets the cannon. That wizard tower is going to finish off the raid. But anyways, that's why I love this new meta strategy. It's so good. Valkyries are OP. And the wizards are to clear it all out. And I'll show you this other raid. So our clan mate, 99% one start him. So they put me, they told me I need to do some cleanup. So I dropped down. Oh shoot, we gotta read through that. So they told me I need to clean him up, and so I did my job. Perfect hog placement. Trying to lure out that CC because if I place it right there, the CC wouldn't have um, came out. That's why you always gotta be scouting before you attack. So, I, so that was a really bad poison spell by me. Like really, really bad. I was like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Like look at this archer tower. Like, she's like inside of it, but not getting hurt. What is this? See right there, I just placed on my king and then like four or five wizards. And then I placed my golems down immediately. Cause I do not want those wizards to start taking damage. I, you need as much wizards as you can to stay alive and to, cl to get your funnel set. So um, I drop down a couple uh, Valkyries and then I just drop them all down. I place that haste spell down, get them moving out fast, clear it all out. Here comes the rage spell right now. And those Valkyries are stupid and went around the base because those skeletons, those skeletons blew them outside the base. But I guess it worked out because they're going to go ahead and destroy that. I'm going to stick with these Valkyries. Heal spell is going to go down. It's going to heal them both up. That was a really good heal spell by me. It's going to heal them all up. But these three Valkyries are going to go ahead and die out. But we still have like at least seven Valkyries. 
seven or six Valkyries left over there, and they just shred. So we're going to drop down another heal spell. And then we have a drop down my wizards on the side. So then my Valkyries wouldn't go outside of the of this guy's base. Then we have this golem, golemite tanking for the wizard. Wizard saves the golemite. Then Max, and then we have Max Valks from the CC from our clanmate. Then we have the outside builder work, builder huts. So we're gonna just speed that up. And then, boom, right there. So let's go ahead and do our two attacks. Let's make sure we have them. We lost by war per percentage that um, one because it goes by percent. So we have that and we have it for the backup. Let's see about our spells. Our spells are all good. Okay, now let's do this attack real quick. So we want to find some dark elixir. Um, we're not going to wreck some town hall sevens because we just want to get dark elixir and leave. So we want to at least a 1,200 dark or more. But um, I think I dropped out of crystal, crystal one, because I needed to get down the gold one or gold two, because that's where so much loot is. Dang, I wish I was a town hall nine. I should could recall that. There's so much loot down here in um, gold one and gold two. But um, anyways, I don't know. Should we attack this guy? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and attack this guy. Hopefully we can get into the center of his dark elixir. Oh my god, he has wizards. Alright, he has wizards in the CC. That was just the worst thing ever. Alright, well, we're just going to end this battle then. Because... Oh, R.I.P. me, R.I.P., R.I.P. Why must you... You know what, Um, we're going to lure out his CC. And we're just going to kill his wizard and leave. Because I hate... Fucking wizards in the clan castle. That pisses me off, but it's alright. So we're just gonna use all of our freaking archers. No, kill that archer. We're gonna swarm these freaking wizards. They deserve to die. Alright, now that we got those wizards dead, we're just gonna surrender. We lost 20 of our giants. But all of our giants are gonna come back in, I imagine. And we have way too much of these girls. So we're gonna have to erase them all back down to 28. That sucks. That we had. I hate going against wizards in the CC. Oh my god, I need to get this to 28. Stop going over. One, two, two. Okay. Remove. So I moved all of them. We got our giants back in. Um, we got this raid trained up still. So let's drop in 20 giants. And then we're going to drop in 28. One, seven, eight. So these are my, this is my um, war strategy right here. Um, two golems, none Valkyries, one hog rider, 15 wizards, and three archers. So the hog rider is going to lure out the clan castle for war. And then the archer, t and then the archers are gonna lure them to the outside, and then we're gonna drop down our barb king and some wizards, take out the CC dragon. That's what people usually have in their CC, their CC, or balloons. And then once, and then we're gonna use that king ability to stop the the dragon from killing, killing him. The wizards are gonna clean him up. Then we're gonna drop down our two golems to save the wizards then we're going to start a funnel and then let the valkyries just swarm inside the whole base and just shred it all down um what i bring i bring two heal spells one rage and i get a hasten the cc clan castle so everything's all right but we had that awful um we're gonna be sure to lure out the cc this guy is offering 29 cups for a pretty bad base so we're going to just attack it, see where this giant's going to go. Yeah. All right, we're just going to attack on this side. All right, we're going to drop one wall breaker down. That's going to clean up that. Then we're going to start our funnel. We're going to drop another wall breaker. A heal spell right there. 
Now that our archers are dropped down the king. So this is not going to be a three star. Oh my god, I swear. Are those wizards? No, they're not. Alright. Um, get the wizards down in there. Go run. Oh yeah, he does have a wizard. That's cool. And that was a really bad heal. Oh, king. King ability. Alright. So our wizards are going to clean up those CC. Um, wall break is going down. This was a really bad attack because of that CC. But anyways, we still have wizards in the back and on the bottom left hand. Oh, we just leveled up. Let's go, boys. Level up. Um, we have those wizards at the top. The giants are tanking. And actually, this this actually is going, going to be a three-star. Oh, this is a nice... This is a, um, a well Town Hall 7. He still has a bunch of stuff to upgrade. Uh, his archer towers and cannons are really good, too. And fuck that archer tower for destroying all those wizards. So I really don't know if we're going to get the three-star now. Uh, maybe. It's going to be hard for those giants to destroy those walls. But it sucks now. Oh, nope. Yes, let's go, wizards. You're clutch. Clutch, wizards. Clutch. Clutch. No. 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 You're not clutch. You're not clutch at all. Oh, get the Dark Elixir. Yay. Come on. Go destroy the Archer Tower. Help out your giants. There's only one left. Oh my god. Destroy the wall. Okay. Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Don't let him kill your brother. Yes. Yes. 29 cups. That was nice. And that was a little overkill. But we still had trouble. That was not good at all. Um, Let's request for giants and haste. Um, no one's on right now. Dang it, that sucks. But that, um, it's, it's, um, really late right now. So I can, I understand why no one's on. But, um, I would, uh, let's go ahead and gem this for you guys. And let's start up another click, um, click train. And then drop down some heal spells. So, this is gonna be the last raid we're gonna get, um, this is gonna be the last raid before... This um, video is over, and we're gonna go into Clash Royale and do something and do a couple more battles. Probably one more battle, or we might just end it here. But we're gonna try and find at least a thousand Dark Elixir. But that Town Hall 7 I was just having fun with. But there's some um, max out Town Hall 7s that have a lot of loot, and it's really fun to just destroy. I wish I could find one here. This kid has a lot of loot. But that's the problem with having these giants. You just have to um, use a little at a time. But he's... Yes. No. Gosh darn it. Um, let's drop three giants. Then drop them down. Drop like ten of those down to shred that. Um, uh, drop like three more. I dropped way too much. Uh, drop a couple wizards. Okay, um. Drop three more. Two wizards. Okay. So we're doing good right now. Um, I do not think we are going to one star. But it's alright. Um. We're just going for the loot. On this one. Yeah, we're just going for the loot on this one, like I said. Oh, shoot. I could have dropped a heal spell right there, but... We're all right. We're getting tons of loot. Oh, shoot. I missed the freaking Dark Elixir storage. We're going to have to use a heal spell to take out the Dark Elixir storage. Actually, no, we're not. Um, can we get one hit off? Oh, man. We were actually pretty close to getting the one star by just attacking on the outside walls. But right, right here, we're going to lose 21 trophies. Let's just drop down the wall breakers for the heck of it. Um, 
All right, I'm gonna have more training up, but we're we're only gonna get the one star. I mean, not even the one star, but we got some good loot right here. Look, three hundred thousand each, four hundred dark. I'll take it. Um, no problem with that. Um, I'll take that any day. We're trying to get some. We need to push on the elixir and gold. I've been um just keep on using my gold because I need to um get those walls up. Oh, I have a lot of walls to go. See how much more walls I have to go. Um, remove all. I've only have 26. I still have 199 to go. So that's a lot of freaking gold to do. But anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video, video here. I want to thank um, Airshoe for letting me record this. But anyways, without any further ado, it's Fearless Amp here and... Get ready to tune into my broadcast live tomorrow, and peace out, y'all.